How to replace the thermal paste on your gaming console. Today let's replace the thermal paste on the Nintendo Switch, Improved Battery Life Edition. With just 5 simple steps, you can improve gaming performance and get more stable frame rates. During our testing, we noticed a reduction of 3 frame drops per minute of gameplay. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the console's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the console case and battery. Before you start disassembling the console, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Start by removing the Joy-Cons from the switch. Open the back cover slot and remove the SD card. Use a Tri-Wing Y1.5 screwdriver to remove the four screws on the back of the console. When removing screws, choose a high-quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo 01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane. Apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Then, switch to a PH0000 screwdriver. First, remove the screw from the back cover slot, then remove one screw from the top and two from the bottom. Next, remove the screw in the middle of both Joy-Con rails. We recommend using a magnetic pad to sort and place the screws to avoid confusion or loss. Opening the casing should be done gently from the bottom. Be cautious to avoid damaging the upper clips. After the bottom cover is opened, first remove the screw of the card slot at the lower left corner, then pull up the slot component. Remove the remaining six screws on the internal aluminum shell. Gently pry up the aluminum shell with a pry bar to reveal the motherboard. Now, remove the power cable. Use a pry bar to pry upwards from the cable below. After removing the power, press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Clean the old thermal paste on the heat pipe. For efficient cleaning, we recommend using Cooling Monsters Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. The back of the aluminum shell needs to be cleaned as well. Next, continue to disassemble the cooling module using the PH0000 screwdriver. Remove the three screws near the CPU. Peel off the tape on the heat pipe and pry up the heat pipe from below. Clean the cooling module using cleaning wipes. The shield also needs to be wiped to remove old thermal paste. For the shield, gently pry the corners with tweezers then slowly remove it. If you're unsure, you don't need to remove the shield. You can just apply new thermal paste on the shield or ask for professional help. The old thermal paste still needs to be cleaned here. If your thermal paste and cleaning wipes run out, we also provide a 2.1 ml large size cooling monster cold, 01 thermal paste and separately packaged clean, 01 cleaning wipes. Step 4, apply thermal paste. Here, we used Cooling Monsters Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU. Make sure the thermal paste can completely cover the surface of the chips after applying. After applying the thermal paste you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea size method if you like. After applying, reinstall the shield, applying a suitable amount of thermal paste on the surface of the shield as well. Step 5, reassemble your console. Next, follow the same steps in reverse to install the cooling module. First align it with the upper exhaust port and then gently put it down. Avoid using brute force. Then install the three screws on the cooler. Attach the tape to the heat pipe at its original position. Apply a suitable amount of thermal paste and spread it evenly. Now reconnect the power cable. Use a pry bar to align the socket and press down. Then cover the aluminum shell. Install the six screws. and reinstall the card slot in the lower left corner. You can first tear off the tape and align it with the slot, and then reattach the tape. Screw in the screw. Now you can turn on the device to check. If there are no problems, you can shut down, put back the back cover, install the three screws on the top and the bottom. And reinstall the screws in the middle of the two side rails. 
screw in the screw in the card slot and plug in the SD card. Use a Triwing Y1.5 screwdriver to reinstall the four screws on the back cover. And the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which consoles or laptops to demo this process with next.